Nikolai Lentsov, the king of this country called Rekva. He has a demon inside of him. Great. His general, Zoya, who is a Grisha, a kind of magic user, and she can control the storms, which is another awesome thing. And there is another character named Nina, who is a spy in a foreign country who hates people who use magic, calls them witches, and basically treats them badly. Hello, fellow bookquesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today, I have this awesome, epic fantasy book for you guys today. King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo. And by the way, don't be fooled, I'm pretty sure she is a girl. And well, let's get right on to it. So, uh, Lantzov, oh my god, I keep forgetting his like Nikolai Lantzov. Okay, it's, okay, oh, whatever. Anyway, Nikolai, he has a demon inside of him. Each night, he turns into a demon, flies away, and kills some sheep, or some sort of thing. And it's kind of weird, and it's literally so bad. <laughs> and uh, Zoya, who is extremely beautiful, but, well, basically, you know, if, if she goes into a room full of men, she would eat them for breakfast and grind their remains under her foot. That is how ridiculously hard is she, uh, she is, which is great. And yeah, so it's a pretty thick book. And well, basically, what's, what's going on is that basically a couple couple decades ago or a couple of years ago I'm not really sure because it's not really clear there's this guy named the Dark King and he was Grisha but he didn't need an amplifier which is like a device that basically amplifies their power I mean kind of obvious and he's a Grisha and he himself is an app uh, is an amplifier they're kind of rare but he is and he's really really powerful and he wanted to take over Ravka his intentions were eh, mediocrely good, but when people refused his rule, he basically killed them all. So, yeah. And and then he cursed Ravka's hair, heir, who is now the king of Ravka. Our dear Jesus Christ, his name, Nikolai. King Nikolai Lantzov. He's now the king, and he still has a demon inside of him. And the, he thought the demon was gone after they defeated the Dark King a couple decades ago or a couple years ago, I'm not sure. He is now, the demon's back, basically. It's just how it is right now. And then we follow another storyline, as I just said, Nina, who is a spy from the country Ravka into the country Fajurdin. And Fajurdin, basically what they do is that they capture our dear, you know, people who can use magic, the Grisha, and they're captured and they're drugged like hell and they're drugged, and this drug, it makes them stronger, but they pretty much die from addiction, and they die. Drugs are bad, guys. And they drug them, and they just want more, and they basically get use that power when they're drugged. Since Grisha dies soon after they're drugged, they, yeah, they take advantage of that power, and they make weapons, they make huge castles with that magic. And yeah, that's basically what's going on in Fajurdin. And our dear, Jesus Christ, their names, man, I swear. Nina Zenek, she the spy who got sent by Nikolai. She, well, she, she is a spy and she's rescuing these Grisha who are being abused and who are being captured and who are living in hiding and in fear to bring to Ravka to rescue them. And while well, that storyline happens at the same time, our dear Nikolai and Zoya basically finds out a way that they could kill the demon inside of him, which is like a, which is like the, I'm not sure how it's called, I mean, I'm fairly sure in English it's called like the Ritual of the Thornwood or something like that. That's a very rough translation, by the way. Of course the book's English, but like, there are words in there that are definitely not English. And... Yeah, they basically have to get rid of this huge amount of darkness inside of Nikolai, and they're trying to. So they journey to the Rift. Now the Rift is where the Dark King was defeated, and nothing grows there because he tried to upset the natural order of balance, natural order of the world, and it totally destroyed them. And this uh, place, this place known as 
Ravka, they basically serve the saints. Saints with saints are people with great power. Like for example the sun saint or the saint that killed the dragon or whatsoever. And yeah. Um the saint who got killed by bears, the saint who controlled bees. Um yeah, all sorts of saints. And they worship these saints. And one of those saints, the Sun Saint, defeated the Dark King, alongside with Zoya and the King. So basically, they traveled to the rift because there they could find this ancient thornwood thingy that could probably, with the right ritual, get rid of the, um, the demon inside of Nikolai. And it could possibly kill him. I mean, what's the risk, right? And yeah, and then Zoya calls up the storm. And she is te- she Zoya and Nikolai is teleported to this place, and they're stuck there until they get rid of the demon, which is incredibly annoying. And there they meet their precious saint, who actually are trapped in the fold, and all they want to do is get free and have a mortal life. And and they want and they are wanting to get rid of the stupid demon inside of Nikolai, so that Ravka doesn't fall into teeny tiny pieces. And one of them, a dragon, he is basically he teaches Zoya that what she was taught about the Grisha, how they can either be a heart tender or a person who can control the blood flow or a wave maker, I believe. I'm not sure. Who can control the water, Inferni, who can put fire on things, and a weather maker? Look guys, I've there's so many things in this book and I just read it, okay? It's confusing. And Zoya's one because she can control the storms and the weather and whatever. And the wind. Okay. And yeah, that's pretty cool. And the saint and the saint, the saint who killed the dragon, says that actually that's not how amplifiers work. And that once you kill, for example, he killed the dragon and the dragon killed him and at once they became one and then they could control all of the elements. They could be a wave maker, a heart tender and a tide maker maybe, I'm not sure guys, it's so hard. And they can be all of that once but the Grisha believes they can only be one. And basically Zoya is so hurt and she's so scarred from her experiences in the war and her, her new mentor, I guess, the dragon, lets you get rid of all of that. And then it is revealed that one of the saints who was pushing Nikolai to try this thorn thing, thorn ritual thing to get rid of the demon, is actually um, loyal to the Dark King and wants him resurrected, which is another plot twist. It's like three books in one book, and it's a series. So. What am I even supposed to say? <laughs> the Dark King is coming back, and yeah, it's such a complicated plot. Meanwhile, our dear spy, which I have to look for the name again, Nina Zenik, she is, she found that she found this factory where they were drugging Grisha in order to take advantage of their magic. And there she meets Hannah, a Grisha girl who is hiding in their who is hiding uh, because she's a Grisha but she's trying to not show her powers like she's trying very much trying to not show her power and basically basically our dear Nina teaches Hana how to use her powers which works she is a heart tender and they try to rescue the women who are trapped and who are trying to be made into war machines so great and meanwhile, in the court, while the king is missing, the trim, so the trim of right, which is like the king's trusted advisor council group, a like council group or whatever, they're all war heroes, they're super wise and stuff, they're all Nikolai's friends. Basically, they get this guy and then they change his face a little bit to look like he's the king. And basically, since there was a big ball coming up, was basically all of the neighboring countries, like, brides and stuff so basically they want to trick them all and to think that Isaac uh, a person a guy a simple soldier to be Nikolai the king of the country yeah super complicated I know and meanwhile because of the betrayal 
And meanwhile, our dear Zoya, she she finds out that her mentor has been poisoned and that she was dying. And her mentor wanted to her mentor wanted her, Zoya, to kill him, the dragon person. And basically that would make the dragon and Zoya one single being unified and extremely powerful. They do that and Zoya cries all the time, like now, and then she goes against uh, the evil saint, I guess, I have no idea what to say at this point, and they fight the evil saint, and the evil saint is pretty much defeated, and they burn the Dark King's body that happened to be preserved, ready to go once he was resurrected, and Nikolai, they try to get rid of the demon, and they almost succeed, but the demon is, well, resides back into his body, Nikolai's body, licking its wounds. Now that, that is really annoying. Okay, that's pretty much it for the actual bug and what happens in the bug, but I'm gonna say some things I really liked about it. So, one thing I really liked about it is Nikolai, um, his conflict within him, like the demon, because guys, he is like a cowardly child of his mother. Because his mother had an affair with another man other than his, other than the king, and basically he's not the real heir to the throne. He's just kind of real. He's just kind of his mother's son, but he's the son. He isn't the son of the king, but he's pretending to be, and he's a pretty good king. But the demon looks on all his doubts and all his things that he thinks about himself as pathetic. But. Can't, he just plunges in with the will of a king with his sword drawn and he wins that particular bout with his inner demon, his literal inner demon. And that's one thing I find really interesting. Another one is that the main character is a king because the book, the fantasy book series that I'm trying to write myself has the main character is a king. He's Alatrix and King Alatrix. And um, yeah, it's kind of hard for the main character to be the king, mostly because the king basically has everything, and there needs to be this hardship for the hero to become a hero, and for the book to feel very complete for readers. And they did this perfectly, I mean, she did this perfectly, even though the main character was a king. So that makes me so surprised, and it makes me think I need to learn from this book, and the one other bug that I believe the main one of the main characters were a king was probably Leaf, as in Leaf from Deltora Quest, I believe. And yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty much it. And those two are the facts, like facing his literal inner demons and also face he's a king, like he has a lot. But kings aren't as uh, isn't a good position as you might think. It's actually a really hard position, so those are some facts that I like to consider, and yeah, it's really great book, and I highly recommend it. I mean, it's a big series, so I'm probably gonna go through all of it. Hopefully, it's in my local library. Uh, it probably isn't, if I'm being totally honest. So I'm probably just gonna have to buy them. What's new? And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. Have a great day. Read this book. You got it. It's a great one. It's a super must read.